There are a number of mistakes we see over and over again when submitting a Federal Part 1 application, all which may lead to a delayed review process and in some cases, project denial. I'll cover a few of the most common. Number 1. Not reading the instructions. There is a reason that there is an 11-page Historic Preservation Certification Application Instructions Manual. This process can be complicated, but if you read the instructions, you will be amazed at how easily it can progress. If you read the instructions, many of the things you read will sound very familiar. Number two, submitting a Part 1 application after the project has been completed and placed in service. To qualify for this program, the Part 1 must be submitted before the project has been placed in service. The only exception is if the building is individually listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Of course, we recommend applying before any of the rehabilitation work takes place. Number three, not completely filling out section four of the first page. Number four, inadequately documenting the before condition of the building. A lot of times we'll receive three or four before photographs or photos that show a great deal of work underway. I understand that the applicant may have only found out about the program when the work was underway or nearly completed. However, without the building entirely documented in its pre-rehab condition, you will not have a complete Part 1 application. And number five, not submitting two sets of the application. Two sets of everything, no exceptions. You can find the fillable applications with instructions through a link on our website, www.louisianahp.org, or on the National Park Service website. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Tax Incentive staff at 225-342-8160. This concludes the presentation on common mistakes made when preparing a federal Part 1 application.